Hey gang, it's Brandon Devers from My Three Themes with this week's interactive number 79, where we share what we're passionate about and what we've been working on in the I3D Themes design and code lab. I uh, hope you've had a fantastic week. It's been uh, crazy here. I'm going to start off with what's been going on in the design lab. So with Colin, this week he's finished up the Oxygen website template. And he's going to be launching it on some point in time next week. He's going to be working on the tutorials early on in the week, getting some colors, and launching the website template. And then he'll continue on with the WordPress theme. He said, ah, it's not, there's no reason to keep you know, people waiting for a website template while I'm, it's ready and I'm still working on the WordPress theme. So he's going to launch that next week. Pretty excited. It's a great looking design. Uh, if you caught a few weeks back, I had a screenshot of that and um, it it's, it's great. So, uh, and then he's taking, actually he's taking a long weekend. He's already yeah, punched out for the uh, the weekend. He's taken a half day today and a half day on Monday. He's gone to Vancouver for the Rugby Sevens tournament that's going on over there. He went there last year as well. Saw the tournament, the championship. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a rugby guy, but uh, he had a great time, and so he'll be back sometime afternoon on Monday. And then I'm not in on Monday from about nine until four, so there's going to be a period in the morning where if you're calling in, nobody's going to be answering the phones. Uh, but I will be checking in uh, before then just to see if there's any urgent issues. Uh, but I'm taking the day as well. Ah, you got to do that every once in a while, right? Take an extra day. Mental health day, something like that. Anyways, now I'm going hang to out, hang out with one of my boys and uh, have a good time. So, but what's been going on in the code lab this week? It's really, this week has all been about uh, working with server response time. So server response time, when talking about a website, is how long it takes your web server that's hosting your web page to serve your web page to you. It's the response time. Basically, it's, it's not just the time to first byte, if you've ever heard that term before. It's also the time that it takes to serve the entire HTML aspect of the page. And then beyond that, there's the time to first render. But we're talking about server response time. If you have a slow server response time, it means that either there's a lot going on on your server, that your web page is super, super long, um, or, you know, basically what it boils down to is that you really need to take a look at your web hosting. So whenever anybody comes to us, they say, my website is really, really slow. Is there anything we can do about it? I say the very first thing that you need to look at is your web hosting. If, if your server response time is more than three seconds on average, it's going to be very hard to even throw caching on top of that. You really have to look at making sure your web hosting is fast. So if there are tools out there for checking your server response time, if, if it's more than three seconds, go talk to your web host, say, hey, I think my server is overloaded. Can you just flip me over to something that's maybe not as loaded or take a look at maybe switching hosting platforms? You, you got to do everything you can to make sure your web server is, you know, it's fast. That's really, really important. There are a number of, if you're using WordPress, there are a number of really great platforms out there for that specialize in just, you know, WordPress optimized hosting. Um, and, and so you can check those out if you're really keen on that sort of thing. It's not really that much more than the regular shared hosting platforms. Um, one that comes to mind is Kinsta, if you want to Google that. Uh, they're like only $30 a month, which is actually pretty reasonable, and they are super fast. Um, in any case, so server response time is the most important thing, I would say, before actually even optimizing the pages by making the page render fast. So you have to make sure that you know, your web pages can be delivered fast. And then after that, we take a look at how all the information is or organized in there. And that's what our Pegasus uh, Accelerator automated Google PageSpeed WordPress plugin, uh, that's what our plugin does, is it does all the reorganization of everything. It also has caching built into it, so it can actually tackle, take you from like the three second, you know, server response time down to sub one second. We've seen some, some, uh, sites that we've accelerated in the last two weeks, we got down to like, I want to say 600 milliseconds for the response time, which is inc no, that was the render time. We've seen some really fantastic results from it. But you got to have make sure your web hosting is fast first. But there was one thing that I was talking to Colin about this week. We were we were discussing 
bounce rate. So if you have a website, you probably have heard of bounce rate. Bounce rate is typically measured if you have a like an analytics script running, like Google Analytics. They register, you know, somebody that comes to your site, looks around and says, I'm out of here. This doesn't interest me. There's no content here that interests me. It's not for me. And so, uh, but there's, there's another type of bounce that really is what's not measured. And this is, um, this is a bounce that is made worse if your website is slow. So think about it like this. Uh, somebody is Googling whatever it is that you're found for in search and they type in super widgets and they see your listing there and they click on it and it takes forever to load. In fact, it seems like it's not loading at all. You click one, one, two, three, four, five. And you know what? People will stop and they'll click on somebody else's link. That is a bounce. It's never registered though. It's never registered in your Google Analytics or any other analytics platform data because the person never reached your site and the analytics code never ran in the page to record that visit. It's not even a visit. It's somebody that clicked on your link that went to go to your website. But because your website was so slow, <laughs> they backed out. So that's a lost visitor. It's a bounce. And I have some stats here. Google um, on their thinkwithgoogle.com website this week. I was looking at one of their, their stats. And they're talking about uh, from one to three seconds, the probability of a bounce increases to 32%. So that's somebody that's clicked. If it takes between one and three seconds, possible that somebody could you know, click away, do something else. Uh, one to five seconds, the probability increases to 90%. So if it's taking five seconds, 90% of people could be bouncing on mobile. And then anything uh, up to six seconds, it, it, your probability is over 100%. And if, you, uh, if, some, if it takes longer than 10 seconds to load um, before it loads up, it's, it's like 123%. That's according to Google. These are stats that they're pulling from Chrome. So they know this because of all the, the Chrome data that gets sent back to the Google mothership or whatever they call it, the data center, and registering when people click on a link and then it doesn't load and they back away. So this is a really important concept that there could be a whole lot more people coming to your web pages that are maybe already trying to click through but are too impatient and because your website is too slow, they're bugging out. Now if you make your website faster, you may find that your visitors actually goes up. I don't know that it will sh change the bounce rate on page because it'll be the same percentage of, you know, people maybe not really finding the content that they want, or maybe they do find the content that they want. But you'll find that because your website is faster, more people are reaching your site. Anyways, hope you've had a fantastic week and you've got great plans for the weekend ahead. We will see you again next week and again, uh, I'm back full time here uh, on Tuesday. Colin should be back late afternoon on Monday. Uh, so if you have any questions over the course of the weekend, we'll get back to you as soon as we get back in the office. Anyways, talk to you again next week. Bye-bye.